Thank you all for coming back. Councillor, are we ready to continue? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair, we are ready to proceed, please. Thank you.
Welcome back, Mr. Jeng. Mr. Jeng, you are the last. Thank you. Thank you. Are you ready and able to proceed? Da parenga na kumuna egali. Wow. Yes. May I remind you that you are still on the oath and that you are expected to speak the truth and nothing but the truth. Angla fateli na bete yang chibiru wat binga waton. Tedi la hamal nena ni suntu chio mo inga wa dega. Wow. Yes. Before the break, you were talking about individuals who were received from mile two prisons. Ganeli operation labo hamne tumbul tamba mola kuyigal. We would want you to continue your testimony, but please exercise some discipline and limit yourself to the important issues and avoid just going around and around in circles. Munga egali nak sasere wa ingela nyungla nyana nga wa wa birek chiningo wara wa he mu uche nanga yunda loka yunda lorek. Just stick to the more important issues, because I don't want to be constantly interrupting you with questions. I want you to just come up with your testimony, uh, free flow, or uninterrupted, unprompted. No one reckon that jar shilling a ham ne moge na am solo. Na te manit bugu mangai wah mai lay dog jaman na buchi ne karik. Wah hal reckling a wara wah te lim ham ne monga wara wah moi le wara am solo. Chiwa haji. So kindly uh, proceed uh, from the point where these individuals were taken from from the prisons and put into vehicles. Nyu egali na finga hamne fufunga m ne dapa am ai nit nyu hamne jelengi ne fufu ti prisons bi eblenti kwa ai moto. Council, before you continue, um, uh, Commissioner Imam C has just indicated to me that. He wants to raise a point of order. Just now, Imam C, you have the floor. Dega bi chimo mrek lala yala wara mana jigal. Liga wa liga isi de ni ludis la ne kulu chakan. Tey angi chiron wal al Quran. Wal al Quran bi defa sorry chisa dundin. Dega bi rek chimo mgai wana am jigal chia la lim la wara jigal mom. Chimo mrek ngaho mana wak ngaho mana am. Nyana la ngaho wak. Sadikan dia kelang gawak dega bi, Al Quran bi kat dia ni ngaw wati li dulu lutu di, ludis lah, lola lola lah bukan nyan. Jeng, I implore you to speak the truth. The Quran that you have sworn on is a very serious thing, and I want you to speak the truth. Wajah Imam dega nali ngaw. Imam, I heard what you said. May I proceed, Mr. Chair? Uh, Imam C. Thank you, Imam C. Uh, Council, you may continue. Um, thank you, uh, Mr. Witness. Uh, just before the break, you told us you arrived at mile two in a convoy of vehicles. Some of your colleagues went in and had a conversation with prison officers. They came back Later, people were removed from the prison and put in the vehicles. Do you recall saying us that? Walang yon dem chi break be. Wahanga yun e dangen duga chi ay moto yon hamne den teklande. Gen dem mile two. Mo amien na nakisen kilifa yon hamne duga den chi bi yon yon amien yon di sofa. Ganabo nak chi gen dal di gen nat da lolo degala. A lolo degala? Yes, that's true. Can kindly remind us who went inside the prisons to discuss with the prison officials. Fatele nyong nyanyo duga chibir por watan at ninga hamne nyo prison officials ni lige chiprison be. The tumbul tamba si bopam. Tumbul tamba himself. Momo nyu jite on. He led us. Mom si bopam mo duga. He got inside he himself. To office be. To the office. Momo len. Momo responsible on everything. He was responsible for everything. Can you tell us which members of the patrol team 
participated in this particular operation. Nothing you know what. Nyan linga ham ne nyobo kachi patrol team bi nyom nyobo kachi linga ham ne mo operation bi linga ham ne mo hewon. Man siluma muna fatel. I can recall. Tumbul tamba. Tumbul tamba. Malik Jata. Malik Jata. Man siluma boba. Myself. Sana manjang. Sana manjang. Michael Jata. Michael Jota. Mustafa Sani. Mustafa Sani. Uh, and Ismaila Jami. And Ismaila Jami. For now, I'll sum up what I would done. I think if I have not forgotten, there are the people that my mind can recall. Sorry. And Fansu Nyabole. Uh, kindly give me those names again. Give me those names again. Man, myself, Fansu Nyabali, Fansu Nyabali, Sana Manjang, Sana Manjang, Michael Jada, Michael Jada, Malik Jada, Malik Jada, Aktumbul, and Tumbul, Ismaila Jame, Ismaila Jame. Did you make um, Thank you very much. That makes seven of you, correct? Yes, by what I can recall. But if there is someone also who was a part of it, if I recall any time, I'll let you know. Do you recall how many vehicles were used? The vehicles were about four or five, but uh, they could not be more than five. Uh, were all the victims put in one vehicle or they were put in different vehicles? What I can recall was that each vehicle had some that were put in there. But it was not in one vehicle. Were they restrained in any way? Were they bound? Were they handcuffed? Were they tied? Uh, what I can recall, when they were coming out of the prison, where I was seated, I could not see them to be able to tell whether they were handcuffed or not. Because I was in the rear vehicle. And secondly, I was the gunner, and the gunner is usually behind. Because when we go on patrol, that is the way we used to sit. So that the gunner gives the rear protection. So where I sat, I could not say exactly whether they were handcuffed or otherwise. Because I was on top of uh, the pickup. But certainly, when you arrived at your final destination, you would have seen these victims, didn't you? When we got there, when they were being brought down, I was behind the vehicle. I was there with my PKMS. And the four drums. Did you see them or did you not see them when they alighted from the vehicles at your final destination? Yes, I saw them. 
So you should be able to tell us whether they were restrained in any way or not. No, there. Where I was, I did not see them. But you just told us that you saw them. Why are you legging us? No. No, I handcuff. What I am seeing, I did not see them in, a, in handcuffs. Because it was dark. Okay. Do you know whether anything was placed over their heads? Wow. Yes. And what was that? I saw a lot in the bush. Plastic bags were put over their heads. At what point, or from what point, did you first notice that plastic bags were placed over their heads? Yo, Chifan, actually, can you say it? Lune, I'm not busy now. Lone, but I'm not solving any questions. But pay. Monica, mile two. That is at mile two. So when they were being brought into the vehicles, you saw or you noticed that plastic bags were put over their heads. Yes, I noticed that. Mungu, do gachi bir moto vichinga said lone nyongle solal musi oyu. Wapaski kena lasigis. Yes, because I saw one. And this was the person that was brought into our vehicle. And that person, did you notice whether the, uh, the person's hands were in his or her front or behind? Wow, can I call you to go to the same building? Motor wing and neck on you. Not said long and the low homey. The funny conchic canam or the funny conchaganawa. No, what the gane yala munma wanda low homey musa mungi on chicanam while a musiganawa. To God, I cannot say whether his hands were in front or behind. Because I gave... So, but when they were being brought into the vehicle, that was when I turned and looked behind. That was when I saw this guy coming in with the plastic bag over was, his head. Was this normal? Was this normal? No, that was not normal. And what came to your mind the moment you saw this person being shoved into your vehicle with a plastic bag over the person's head? I thought about many things. Why? But... At that point in time, I could not say that uh, what uh, happened was going to happen. Because what I was thinking was that maybe if we left mile two, that we would take them to the NIA. Uh, that w you had participated previously in taking detainees from mile two prisons to NIA, correct? Yo, Bokonga, which he knew Hamne, the new jail, you have the new land gap, but he mile two prisons, the land you book NIA, Bokonga to you, Balalu. Bokanaji? Yes, I was part of it. And in transporting them from NIA, from mile two prison to NIA, would you normally put plastic bags over their heads? No, why would you believe on this particular occasion that these people were being taken to the NIA with plastic bags over their heads? Lan mo wara tah nak diyon nga fok ne nyung le ne yobu NIA te fek ka nyung le solal musi sen bopay. Paski? Because when I started going to the NIA, what I used to see between there and mile two was that whenever they took somebody away, they will bring you to the NIA, and when they take you from the NIA, then after they will return you back to mile two. This is what I used to see. But that uh, day, when I saw these plastic bags over their head, 
suma hel bi ñaaw na i was uh, half in doubt in my mind ay hawma li hew si but i did not know what was about to happen but at this time it ne faral di am la su fekke ne jong la ci ñu ngi ñew di jël ay nit di leen yobbu dañu jël mbuus sol ko ci seen baati ndax du lolu let me refine the question a bit in wolof ah jong la ci ci anam yiñ daan jël jëfu pour rey nit bokon na ci ñu jël la solal la mbuus ci sa bap sa bopa bi sofoket la be nga de amal bokon the question is ndax lolu bokon na ci ni ngeen daan reye nit jamono joy wa lolu mom wa dega ne yalla musuma ko gis that one to be frank with you to to god i have not seen that before so so you had not participated at this stage in suffocating people to death that's what you're telling us won yow melni jamono joju fekana bokagulo ci ñi nga xamne dañ leena solal mbuus bañ de ndax bokagulo won ci yu mel nonu pour lay no i was not yet a part of that but when you took out when your group took out this group of detainees from my two prisons with plastic bags over their heads you knew they were going to be killed way yen bi sen kurel bi genne ye ñoñu mail tu solal len mbuus ci sen bopay xamone nga ne dañ len doon yobbu pour ray len a suspect na lolu yes i suspected that mr witness i put it to you you did not only suspect you knew that these guys were going to be executed mang la xamal ne day fogulo won rek de way da nga xamone ne ñi ñu ngi leena yobbu pour ray len wow yes and you got it provided security for the convoy and also for the person who was in the vehicle you were you were in correct yo yo yang don garder yang don ar moto yoy nga xamne ño teklande ak it koku nga xamne ñu ko japp dugal ko ci bir moto bi degal wa degal yes it's true and you went all the way to the forest where 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 around in gambia te ngeen dem be ci alla bi alla bo ban bor la nekkon ci bir gambia lolu dafa nekkon ci guddi that was in the night waye luma mëna fatale ko but what i can recall amna bena school bu nekk ci kawtali bi there is one school by the highway ci fogni in fogni ci dekk bu ñewak kili in a village called kili fofu la mujje fatale ko that was the last place i can recall and kili in which part of gambia would that be found in fogni kili ban bor la mu ne fogni proceed please so biñ age be kili so when we got to kili mu na tuma fatale ko exactly na moto bi fum ko fe i cannot recall exactly where the vehicles took a turn my last reference bu mu mujje am but the last reference that i can uh, pinpoint to ci yon mi on the highway mo nek ak kili was kili ay ñu romba kili we passed kili ñu dem bem sori tuti we went a little bit far ko man jamono bu man hawma foñu bu ba at that time i did not know foñu well very well mu am fuñ branch but there was where we took a turn ci sa ndejor melni legi soy jubal bori jara soma we took uh, towards the right as if you are moving towards uh, jara soma so ñu laaha so we took a bend convoy bi continue the convoy continued muy daw uh, moving on idem going biñ age bena point when we got to one point lampay lampi moto yi ñu fey ko they uh, put off the vehicle lights so moto bi di daw ndanka ndanka and the vehicles were moving slowly ñu dem 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 be anda place and we were going slowly until we got to a, po- a spot ba ci guddi gogu in that night ñi moto yi taxaw the vehicles stopped why do you think the vehicle lights were turned off lo fok ne motax ñu fey lampi moto yi ah he ñame bi dañ bañ pour nit ñi xamne rek ñu ngi fa maybe they did not want anyone to know that uh, we were there so in your mind the presence of the entourage in that particular location was being kept a secret by turning the lights of the vehicles off correct bon mo nga melni yow ci sax laat teew bobu nga xamne yeen ñepp nga fa teewon da ngeen ko doon buga def secret motax ngeen feyon lampay degal wa wa lolu motax ñu fey lampay yes that was the reason why the lights were turned off and proceed please egalin so biñ age 
So when we got there, until we had wanted the vehicles to stop, the vehicles stopped. So now, so now they alighted. When they alighted, those that were in the vehicle were all brought out. So when they were all brought down, myself and Nyabali asking you always so I may go and I'm going to load up because us when you have a gunner you always also have a loader but Nyabali money comes from a loader by that time and Nyabali was my loader at the time so they get a lot of money and pull out deal are a drumming I'm the more I may will believe in it now uh now I'll talk Casey by are a Bali if you hear a loader is the one who normally will hold the uh the the bullets so guy you know you know and so they said to us, for you, you sit here and watch over the vehicles. Who gave you that order? That order to be th th frank with you, I cannot recall now who gave that order. And you know why that is the case? Because it never happened. You see, Mr. Witness, in all the episodes or incidents of murder you are alleged to have been involved in, you started by dissociating yourself from physical involvement in the murder by telling us that you stood watch you were far away from events you were not there and things just happened <laughs> What I said, because when I first came here, my mind was not steady. But when I left and I sat down, I made up my mind. I made up my mind. Imam Legini. And just recently the Imam Edanama uh, advised me. That is why at this point in time I cannot uh, I don't want to tell you something that is not factual. <laughs> and you want us to believe you now. After everything that has happened so far. You have made several Several at several instances you have given us an undertaking that you would be speaking the truth and you lied. We went through that three times and this is the fourth fourth commitment to speak the truth. And for the fourth time we're going to give you that opportunity that you ask for. And if you lie again, we will catch you. And this time, we are going to jail. And this time, we will catch you. And this time, you may go to jail. Wow. Yes. Tell us what happened that night when you arrived in the forest with these detainees. That night when we arrived, this is what they told me that I should sit inside the vehicle because of my PKMS. Did you, remo did you remain in that vehicle? Yes, I, I remained in the vehicle throughout the process. But throughout the process, you never stepped out of that vehicle. You never went to the execution site. I didn't go there. 
Okay, proceed with what happened. So So when we went, uh, they were we they came down. Those that we took along, they took them away. How many of them? Ah, anyway, anyway, I cannot, I do not know the exact number. Man Lafikor was there, wasn't he? Man Lafikor, mungfa wanda. Man Lafikor, dega na ne mungfa. Man Lafikor, I heard he was there. Mungfa, he was there. Ah, Masire jamie mungfa won. Masire. No, so far Masire neke taman gisu makore. Well, if Masira was there, I, 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 Alpha Ba was there. Alpha Ba Mufa. Alpha was there. You saw him? Yes, Ngako. Alpha Ba is now mile two. I saw him in mile two. When he was getting into the vehicle. In which vehicle did he get it? In which vehicle did he get it? Alpha Ba. For now, I'm going to the second vehicle. I think he was in the second vehicle. Oh, Mr. Witness. Let's be serious here. How could you see Alpha Ba? How could you recognize Alpha Ba when he's when the plastic bag was over his head? It was Aliou Sise that I saw a plastic bag over his head. Why Alpha Mangus Mumbusi Bopam? But I did not see a plastic Why bag Hamnani move forward over the head of Alpha. But I know that he was there, uh, Mr. Witness. Uh, this is not a joke. Earlier on, you told us you saw only one person. Because you are giving your back to them. You saw only one person. And that was the person who was being served into your vehicle. You could not even tell whether this person was restrained or handcuffed. Now you're telling us a different story. Now you telling us you saw Alphaba. Now you told us you saw Aliou Sise. Which is which? I saw Aliou Sise. So what you told us initially was a lie. Well, maybe. And you think that pressure has changed? Maybe it's because of the pressure. You think that pressure has changed? Like the pressure that you are under, you think it has changed? So, you, you think we should now believe you to be speaking the truth? When just three minutes ago you thought there was so much pressure that you had to lie? I did not lie. Perhaps it was just a misunderstanding. I have warned you. If you play these games, we would catch you. So continue. The story can only be one. It cannot be several. Tell us the truth. Can you saw, you saw Alphaba. Because you were present when he was being executed. No. When he was being killed, I was not there. You saw Ibulo because you were present when he was being executed. No, when he was being killed, I was not there. You saw Manlafikor because you were present when he was being executed. While he, when he was being killed, I was standing by the vehicle. The thing is, how would you have known that that was Man Lafikor? After big idea the announcement, Mr. Rajoli. After when they made the announcement over the radio, and, and the names of the individuals that were there were called. That was when my mind 
came to the conclusion that those that were taken to the bushes were the individuals. Like who else? Like who else? Alphaba. Alphaba. But you saw Alphaba yes. with your own eyes. Wow. Yes. Who else? Malafi por deganaturam. But you saw Manlafi with your own eyes. Did the Malafi mum kisu makon? No, I did not see Malafi. See it. You saw Aliou Sissé with your own eyes? Aliou Sissé, when he was brought down from the vehicle, I saw him. And again, earlier on you said you only saw him when he was being put inside the vehicle. Wow, you can see that you can see that you can see that you can see that you can see that. Now you also saw him when he was being removed from the vehicle. Legi tamit ngane gis nga ko bañ ko genné ci moto bi. Wow. Yes. This is a new fact, isn't it? Itam benen bu es la. Wow. Yes. When you told us you only saw him when he was being put in the vehicle, that was not correct. Bon bi ñu waxé né ben yoon nga ko gis rek moy bañ ko duggal ci moto bi. Bon lolu mom du won dega. No, rafu moko ñika gis. No, where I first Just answer the question. Just answer the question. When you told us that the only time you saw him was when he was being put in the vehicle, that was not accurate. That was not a straight talk. And if it is not straight talk, it's a lie. Just a mistake. It was just a mistake. Uh, maybe my mind cannot recall. After all, this has been a long time. Is it also a mistake that you were telling us that you remained in the vehicle when, in fact, you did not remain in the vehicle? When it comes to the vehicle, when we reached there, I will not lie to you. I was in the vehicle. And no mistake. No mistake, sir. You sure about that? I'm very sure of that, sir. Please. Okay, I'll leave that point for now. Let's proceed with your story. Proceed. So, Legi. So now, when you buy a fufu, no, no. When we left there, mana nyabali. When they left us there, myself and nyabali. Muto yang phone. The vehicles were there. Guide them. So they left. We guided them. When they were going, mangi diga send party silin dembi. I I could hear their voices in the night, in the darkness. You dembi mi yaga. They went up to after some time. For how long? Bebandir and apa? Anyway, li how na yaga tu tina? Why luma muna fatel kudal? So feke suma hel ah redisi fuma. Muna lawa demda si lutolo si bena watu agena wala. Suma jumu. They went for one hour thirty minutes. That's what you're telling me. Wow. Uh huh. Proceed. So when we when we talk about fufu, so when we sat there, nyom guide del si what? They returned. Why binyo nyu? But while when they returned, nyiga yu wa le nyu nyu ken. They did not return back with those that they went along with. So fufu. So at that point, I gi ya kamti. There there was a haste. Nyu nyu wa nyu pun yuduga si motoi. To to tell us to get into the vehicles. So when we got into the vehicle, and we were coming out of the bushes, 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 and we were coming out of the bushes,
he himself. Said to me, these people I know, they have finished them. So legi. So now, inyewe. When we came after New Delhi what? And when we returned, New Delhi what? The combo. When we returned back to the combo, for Nasi Elixir. I think the following day. Sila dega si newsbi. That was when I heard over the news. Nyonyo nyonyo de nyoricha. That those individuals had in fact escaped. Proceed, proceed. So when they said that those individuals had escaped, I also knew that those that we took into the bushes, they were the individuals. But I was not, I was confused because the way it was announced over the radio and uh, the way that we went, when I compared the two, it's not that there is a difference. I saw that there was a difference. Uh, can you tell us the differences? The difference is what? Because they said that they said that those people got into a vehicle and the vehicle somersaulted. So guy escaped. And then they escaped. No, 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 no. That was how I heard it. Why man? But me, when we got into the bush, and where we came from, and I uh, recall that if these individuals, if, if I told the vehicle had actually some assaulted, those of us that went along with them, I think we should have been we involved in that accident. Also. That was how I was having doubts in my mind. Wow. Yes. You knew that the vehicle did not somersault, correct? Wow. Yes. You also knew that those people did not escape. They did not escape. You also knew that those people were executed. Yes, and you also knew that those people were killed by gunshot. Those people, if they were shot, that one, I do not know anything about it. We would come to that. You see, this story you, has, you have given us is the same story you have given us about you know who. This is the same story you gave us about Daudanyasi. And the thing is, Mr. Witness, you came here initially with this whole idea that this is what you're going to tell the commission. A standard story, you fabricated it for Daudanyasi, for this group, and even for the Ghanaians. This is the same story you are telling us. You have just promised to tell us the truth. Now is your chance to speak the truth. You have changed your story about Daudanyasi. Correct? Wow. Yes. You have changed your story about Harun Ajame, correct? You have changed your story about the Ghanaians or the uh, West African migrants, correct? Wow. Yes. Now is your chance to speak the truth about Daba Marena, about Manla Fikor, about Aliou Sise, about Ibulo, Alfaba, Masire Jami, and Julia. Tell us the truth about what has happened. Just as you said, you said that I should speak the truth. Uh, what I just said to you, because I said so many things earlier on, and I returned today and uh, gave clarity on those things. So, it is in that clarity that I am still in. So, it is in that clarity So, it is in that clarity that I am still in. So, it is in that clarity that I am still in. I am not prepared to say anything to you that is not uh, true. This that I just told you now, on my side, this is what happened. Okay. Let's go into the details. These victims were killed 
not one hour 30 minutes away from where you stopped ni dañ len ray te sa diganté ak ñom tollu wu ci diiri ben waxtu ak genna wala but just a stone throw away from where you parked the vehicles way nak sori waté wul dara ak fi nga xamné fa ngeen gaar seen just a stone throw ay djégo yu naw la rek true or false degala wala dead ah man lolu tam su fegene stone man lolu man xawma parce que ñom fuñ dem man gisuma ko neku ma fa man ci moto bi la nekkon well if where they were killed was just a, a stone throw i cannot tell because where they went i do not know i have not gone there and where I was, uh, I can only talk about things that happened where I was and the things that I saw. But anything other than that, if at all I have heard or seen anything, to God I will tell you. Well, Malik Jata was present, wasn't he not? Malik Jata, Mungfawon. Wasn't he present? Malik Jata, Mungfawon. Yes, Malik Jata was there. And Malik Jata said, Malik Jata, Mune. They were shot in your presence standing there. Together with Nyabali. No. So Malik is lying against you. So Fekene Malik Lola was this issue. Malik Jata si Bopam Hamna Neman Fufu Nekumafa. If that is what Malik said about this issue, Malik himself knows that I was not. Listen there. carefully to the accusation. Malik never said Malik you pulled the trigger to kill any one of those people. But Malik said you were standing right there when they were being killed and you were no more than 5 or 10 meters away from where these people were being executed. No, that never happened. M Malik said, Malik Mune. they were killed they, as soon as they were removed from the vehicles, they were pushed into the bushes and executed. There. And you could not even hear the gunshots. No, I did not hear any gunshots. Well, Mr. There. Witness, that is the irony of the whole thing. Why would they go into the bush? And at that point, they, they decide to move further inland for one hour, 30 minutes. For one hour, 30 minutes. Where the vehicles were able to, as the, 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 the furthest the vehicles could go, that was where they were, I was asked to, to, to wait. Because where the vehicles were parked, there was a, a feeder road, but there was, a, it had a limit, and so the vehicles could not pass beyond that point. So they had to stop. And so what they could tell me was to well, wait for them, and that was what I did. Malik Jata was present, well, and Malik his Jata. story is different. Malik Jata, Mungfa, one day, te mom limwa, dafa uti at li. And his story was that all of you came out of the vehicle, and you were standing right there when these witnesses were being shot. Te mom limwa, mo, yen nyep, yen a wache chi moto yiti, yen nyep ngi tahawon, binyon fetel nyonyo. Does Malik not recognize you? Ah, Malik, ha me ola. Malik Jata, ha me nama. Malik, can recognize me? Didn't Malik know that you participated in that operation? Malik, how many you bought on the operation, Bobo? Malik, how many you made on the operation? Why man fuma and Malik Jata mom si bopam ham nako? Malik knows that I was part of the operation, but where I stopped, Malik knows where I stopped. But Malik's claim is that you were standing right next to him. Malik, you were more than a young guy who wanted that mom. Did Malik ta how much you No, I was not standing beside. Ask him, man, I was a goner. Because I was a goner. Because of my PKMS and my drums, they are too big so much that I cannot move with them. My, 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 Far from the vehicle because they were killed right there. Jaruton gay dem fen di sorry moto bin dah tech. Powerful and yen raye. Ah, malul tam lulu man teman kisumakode. 
Well, that, that too, I have not seen it, and I can also, I can only talk about the things I saw. You knew Manla Fikor very well, didn't you? Yes. I call him uncle. Do you have a relationship with him? I call him uncle. He called me my nephew. And is that relationship very strong? It was a strong relationship. You owe him something at least because of that relationship. Wow. Yes. Aliou Sise, did you have a relationship with him? Aliou Sise, I have a relationship Aliou Sise, I have a relationship with him. my first platoon commander. Aliou Sise was my first platoon commander when I came to the state house. You had a good relationship with him? Yoko, I have a relationship with him. Wow. Yes. Tibulo? Tibulo, I have a relationship with him. Tibulo, I have a relationship with him. Tibulo, I have a relationship with him. Chief instructor. He was my first chief instructor when I got to the training school. And Alphaba? Alpha 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 I just know ordinarily, but we are not close. And you had a good relationship with at least four of these people. When they were being, when they were brought down, and you knew that these guys were going to be killed, obviously you would feel sorry for them, didn't you? I was sympathetic. Just answer the question. At that point, they have been brought down from the vehicle. You knew that one of them is your uncle, correct? You knew at that point that one of them was your uncle, correct? You also knew that one of them welcomed you at Fajara Barracks and he was your RSM. Was it that not true? Yes, sir. You also knew that one of them was your company commander, correct? Yes, sir. And you knew that these people you, are, you have some relationship with were going to be executed, correct? Yes, sir. Nga hamne kena kide mo la dalalon banga je hale sa nyangami. Nga hamne kene nkita mi mo yon sa platun komanda. Nda lulu yere mulu leon sa yaram dawut. Nga hamne nyonyo nyep amna joko bu mel nibo hamne amga sedigante at nyom. Suma yaram dawuna. I felt pity. You at that point. At that point. You felt you should not participate in this actual execution. Is that the case? Yes, I felt that I was in the middle of the day. 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 Yes, in my mind, I thought about that. And you stepped aside because you did not want to participate. No, no, I was in the middle of the day. I was in the middle of the day. I was in the middle of the day. Did you give me the middle of the day? No, the orders that they gave me. Did you give me the middle of the day? I was operating on those orders. So they told me to sit inside the vehicle, and that was where I saw. You see, every, everything you said is exactly in line with what Mali Jata said. Yes, nga lepa lo fi warek da fa mengo aklinga ham ne mom la Mali Jata wa. Except the point. Em desrek that you claim to remain in the vehicle but Mali claims you were there at the point of execution even though you did not pull the trigger like today if I were to say that that I was standing there and I did not see. I would be lying. I 
But that is precisely the, that is precisely the point. You know, if you change your story about being present in the actual execution, you will be called out for lying again. That, that is why you are sticking to this story, which is the same story you gave in the Daudanyasi incident. But let's take you a few steps backwards. Two minutes ago, or about a minute ago, you confirmed that when Manlafikor was brought out, you knew that this was your uncle and he was going to be executed. Do you? No, I didn't say. I didn't tell you there. That was that was before. Just, just a minute ago, I asked you that Mandafikol was brought out. You confirmed yes. I told you you knew that your uncle was going to be executed. You said yes. I told you you did you felt bad about that. You confirmed yes. Is this true or false? My according to my understanding of what you said to me, you asked me a relationship What relationship I had with Malafi? Uh, that's, that is my understanding, but to say when Okay, I'm, let's let's forget about Manlafi. I also asked you that Aliu Sise and he was taken out from the vehicle. You saw him. You said yes. That you knew he was going to be executed. You said yes. And then I moved on. I asked you about Alfaba. And you said yes. You knew that your company RSM was going to be executed. And you felt bad about it. So the thing is, Mr. Witness, you could not have known these that these people were there to be executed if you did not look at them or look at what was going to happen at that location if you just remain in the vehicle manning your gun giving your back to what was happening you would never get to see who was there ni koton do don xam li nga xamne mo fa don xew bay xamne ki mom la ñoy yobbu pour rey wala kelle la ñoy yobbu pour rey ni kon do ko don xam waaw mo ne yes i said ali was just mo duga ci moto bi mile 2 when ali was getting into the vehicle at mile 2 we are not talking about mile 2 now waxum beri mile 2 fim nek ni we went through that particular point fofu romba nañ ko now we are talking about the forest. What happened at the forest? That is what I want to talk about. So, what is the point? 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 He got into the vehicle from mile two. That was why when he was alighting, I knew that he was the one get, get, getting out of the vehicle. Was it only him you recognized? Mom, ki naka alpha ba mom mile two. Alpha ba mile two. And who else? No, man, you don't reclaim one hour. Why after? Those are the only individuals I can talk about. But after, within ourselves, you didn't dance with Toge. When we sit, swing the water and and have discussions.
After when we sit amongst ourselves, Sunyo Watan, and have our discussions, Sunyiren Boki Solari, uh, with other of our soldier colleagues, Amadi Dega, I usually hear Nyiwa, uh, them say, Aksi newspaper ye media bi, and also. And do you know how these people were killed? Amon gani na kalenyere. Did it how many kalenyere? No, I did not know how they were killed. Okay, let me read out to you from Malik Jata's statement what he had to say. And uh, I read from paragraph 14 of his statement. And he said as follows, and I quote, My second to last operation to the well was the case of Daba Marena, former NIA director, Ibulo Alpha Ba. Manlafikor Aliusise, together with Julia and Masi Rejami. Uh, Lieutenant Yusuf Asanyang, uh, Sajin Seni Jamme, Bora Koli, Lieutenant Sehu Jalo, Corporal Omar Jalo, uh, on the ground, they found us with Ismail Jamme, Michael Korea, Michael Jata, Sanam Manjang, Aliu Jeng, and others. We met in Fonyi and entered the garden where the well was. Is, is this true or false? What Malik Jata said, I don't know how he know about the, all these things. Because he, what he know is not what I know. I was a private soldier by then. I have my limitations. Uh, speak in wall of place. Okay. Come, Jamono Yoyo. At that time, and private soldier, lad. I was a private soldier. Oma ben Garat. I did not have any. In rank. Malik Jata, information bumo muna am. Maybe Malik, the information that he was privy to, mandu mo kumuda am. I was not. Can you tell us, from what I have read out, what is there that Malik Jata knew that you could not know? Na ding numu na wahal chili ma fi yanga ni legi. Na amne chili daralo hamne Malik Jata hamna ko teyo muna lo ko ham. Can you please uh, repeat it so that I can hear? Uh, my second to last operation to the well was the case of Daba Marena, former NIA director, Ibulo Alfaba Manlafikor Aliusise, together with Julia and Masi Rejame. Is that something you did not know about? I knew this one. Lieutenant Yusuf Asanyang, Sajin Seni Jame, Bora Koli, Lieutenant Sehu Jalo, Corporal Omar Jalo, and Ismail, Ismail Jame, Michael Korea, Michael, Michael Jata, Sanamanjang, and Aliu Jeng, and others also participated in the operation. Is this something you know or did not know? Something surprised me a little bit. Where he is naming Sini Jami and the others, those people I did not see them. I heard that from him when he was testifying here at the TRRC. But those that I went along with, I always saw members of my team members. Uh, when you went to okay let's let me break it down is it typical is it not that operations of the junglers some people or some members of the patrol team would meet you somewhere in the phones and join in is that would that normally happen <laughs> No. At that time, there were two patrol teams. There was a team of bomba and tumbles. But when we were in Kanilai, there was a team of the team of Bombarde, known as Kausu Kamara, they came and stayed here in the combo. 
Mais si vous avez un team, vous avez un team. Non, je ne sais pas si je suis un team. Je ne sais pas si je suis un team. Ismaïla Jame, était-il un membre de votre team Ismaïla Jame, il n'y a pas de sa team. Je ne sais pas si Ismaïla Jame était dans sa team. À ce moment, Ismaïla Jame était dans sa team. Was he in your team or in another team? Is a team be la bokon or let you be in team la boka? Momungi wants to team. Was in our team. How about Michael Jata? Naka Michael Jata nak. A Michael Jata mungi wants to team. Michael Jata was in our team. How about Michael Korea? Michael Korea nak. Michael Korea time bo mungi wants to team in bomba. Michael Korea at the time was in bomba's team. Borakoli. Borakoli na. Borakoli mo mita mugi wanti team i bomba we. Bora was also in. Kausu kamera. In bomba, kausu kamera team. Essentially, this was a joint operation of the two teams. Le da familia ni operation la ba hamne yen yari team i yen na kaboka. Le da man gisuma fa benen team de. No. This made sense. I did not see members of the other team. You mentioned only seven participants in this heinous crime. Jom nyari nit nyom gak fitur dah nyom hamne nyom bawa konci operation B. Ah, pas kita menyuruh la ni kalau nyom la juga dalam mile two berfun aga. Because those are the people that I was with. Those are the people that we left from mile two with until we 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 got there. And seven people were executed. Jom nyari nit nyom la nyerai. Wow. Yes. And perhaps it would make sense to reinforce the team. Don't you think? But not the Najado for new baller what a cruel team Bob Nun. Lulumum, how much is that? That one, I cannot say anything about it. Frank to God, I cannot, I don't want to tell you something that I don't know. Is it your testimony that only these seven people you mentioned participated in this operation, or there may be more you cannot remember? You're chilling out, my Jerome Yarin is near Rick. Nyom nyom bokon cik operasion ni wala amna nyanyi nyom cik bokai waham ni mula lalu nak fatel aku. Menyerak lava gis de. These are the only individuals I saw. Obviously Malik Jata knows all these people, doesn't he? Malik Jata mom ham na nyom nyep na. Abla nyan. All the people I have mentioned. Ni matu dan ni nyep. Bar mom mula lalu nak ham. Yes, he could know them. You think he lied or made a mistake about who was present during this incident? Well, whether he is lying or not, I cannot say anything about it. Maybe, according to what he saw, that was what he explained. But for me, frankly, what I know is what I told you. But one thing that he is that he did not make a mistake about was your presence. My presence where? In the forest. Yes, I was in the bush. Mr. Witness, in your head, in your own mind, does it really make a difference that you did not pull the trigger? In in the execution of these people. You think that because you did not kill, pull the trigger, you have no responsibility for the killing of these people. Is that how you think? I am not thinking like that. Okay. So now let's take a few steps backwards. From mile two, you knew that these people were being were going to be executed. I did not know it, but I suspected. You told us. Here. You first said you suspected. When I put it to you that you knew they were going to be executed, you said yes. Do you recall that? Atele kungalul. Akon mola wari angalegele wah wah neo. Do you recall that? I said to you, 
You accepted that you knew that these people were going to be executed. And you participated in escorting them to the place of execution. Wow. Yes. You saw the plastic bags over their head. Didn't you? Yes, I saw them. You still went along. Wow, because order. Yes, because it was an order. And they were being taken to that location because of an order, correct? Wow. Yes. And you knew that the order was to execute these people. Wow. Yes. You went along with it. Yes, in my lack of uh, a means of getting myself out of the situation. And as far as you're concerned, your only contribution was escorting these people to prevent their escape, correct? Wow. Yes. And they were executed, correct? Wow. Yes. And the guard and the person who pulled the trigger, all of them participated in the execution. Wow. Equally, you participated in the execution. Yes, because we escorted them, so I cannot uh, detach myself from the team. Why don't you just tell us the whole truth then about your presence? In the actual execution. Just as, just as you said that I did not pull the trigger. Uh, just as you said that uh, if I had not uh, pulled the trigger, then for me to say that I stood there and uh, saw what was happening would be chip talk. But where I stood, where I was made to stand was where I stood. I could hear, not go beyond that place. Did you hear the gunshots? I did not hear any gunshots. Normally, normally, an AK-47, if it is fired at a person, what is the longest distance from which you can hear it? AK-47, If at all a shot was fired, you can hear it six to seven kilometers. <laughs> and that is the problem in your testimony, Mr. Witness. You suggested, therefore, that you must have been over seven kilometers away. That would be in the heart of Kazamas. But, but whether it was actually an AK-47 that was used or not is something that is not clear to me. That standard issue weapon for junglers, wasn't it? Soldar Muneka, then I'm a personal weapon with AK-47. Yes, and, and for a pistol. Had a personal weapon which was an AK-47. For a pistol, how, what's this distance? Fetel Bunda Umom. So in Kosohe, Fanga told Ludega Fetel Bali. What the Gane Yala Bumom, Munumoko predict. To be frank, with me and God, I cannot predict that one. And for seven people, you would, add, there would at least be a minimum of seven shots. Nure, Jurum Yari, Nitak Bali Fetel, Hana Dinga Dega, I Jurum Yari Bali in Sohi. And it would be at least in unison or in quick succession. And you had nothing. You had nothing. I did not hear anything. If I had heard anything, I will tell you I heard that or this. Well, Malik Jata said you were standing right there. Malik Jata
that was what Malik said. If that was what he said, then he made a mistake. Because he knew that I was in the vehicle. And when they were going, that was where they left me. And when they returned, they found me where they had left me. When he said he was standing there by the vehicles, I did not see him there amongst the vehicles. Uh, Malik did not say that he was standing by the vehicles. Malik said that when these people were put there to be executed, yourself, himself, and Fansu Nyabali stood aside. Man Pansu Nyabali la muna fatele ku kufaneka. Malik jata si bopa mum si bopa muna ma fatele ku fum tahaye fufu nyun fum tahawon. I can only recall Pansu Nyabali being there, but Malik jata where you stood, I cannot recall that. Uh, I think there's a mistake in interpretation. Uh, correct me, Mr. Witness, if I am wrong. You said muna ma fatele ku Malik jata tahaw nyun fum tahawon. Is that what you said? Ah, that's what I said. I cannot recall Malik Jata standing where we were standing. And where was that? Where was that? Where, where, where were you standing? I stood where the vehicles were parked. That was where I, I was. And that would be outside? Outside like how? That would how far away from the other guys? From, which from the other participants? No, I cannot judge how far they go. How far they go. But you were standing aside. Wow. Uh, I was within the vehicle. I pick up, pick up. I was behind the pickup. I was behind the pickup. Ismaila Jame, you know him, don't you? Ismaila Jame, Hamgako, da? He was present during this incident, wasn't he? Mungfa won, believe the hell. Ismaila Jame, wow. Fuck now, Mungfa won, kai. Ismaila Jame, I think he was there. You and him were detained in the same place, weren't you? You were a mom, you were in the palace, you know, did you? No, I cannot recall Ismaila Jame there. Where? Where we are standing. No, the question is, you were detained in the same place with Ismaila Jame. Ismaila Jame. You were detained in the same place with Ismaila Jame. No, I cannot recall that. Where are you detained currently? Where are you detained at the present? Where are you detained now? Wow. I am at the Union Barracks. How about Ismail Ajami? He is also at the Union Barracks. You see each other, don't you? Wow. Yes. And you do whole conversations, don't you? Yes. And you discuss about this case, of course. No, 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 we don't discuss those issues. You, you really genuinely want us to believe that? Yes, because Ismaila Jame. Ismaila Jame. It's true, I can be in the same place with him. Why? 
su passé yef family affairs ak private thing duñu discourse lo xamné dem na ci yef lolu but our discussions apart from family affairs and other private things si bon, we don't discuss uh, this do you do you know what's been alleged against him ndax xam nga mom lan lañ ko tumal dedet xawma luñ ko tumal no i don't know the allegations against him do you know that he's been accused of being involved in this particular killing ndax xam nga ne mom tumal nañ ko ne dafa bokka ci rey bi ni ba diga nako time are bala don testify ci tiarar ci bi fi yes i heard it do you know what he said xam nga lan la wax dede mu natuma fatale ko mom lo wax de no i cannot recall what he said ci li nga fatale excuse me i'm being carried away by the wolf from what you could recall did you hear him say anything about you ci li nga mu na fatale ko dega nga mu wax dara ci yow ci sa affaire man wow dede mu numa fatale ko fuma degal i have not i cannot remember where i was mentioned and in your conversations with him did you ever talk about this particular episode ci waxtane nga xamne mom ngeen de waxtane ya mom ndax waxtane ngeen dara lu aju ci mbir mi ni xam nga comme mana ismaila jamme nu nekke ci cell bi no because the way that i am in the cell with ismaila jamme mom dafa am own idea he has his own ideas mu am ndubo dundé He has his own way of life. Man itam ma am suma own way of life nu ma dundé. I also have my own way of life that I I live. So lolu so that ñu am difference bo xamné. There is a difference which manam mom suñu waxtaan du dé tolu non. Which make sure that our discussions does not get to that extent. Because mom because he du dé bu ak kenn mu xam affaire am never wants anyone to get to know his issues. So man itam so me also ma dessa suma affaire. I also made my own things. So ni lañ nekké ci cell bi. So that was where we were in the cell. You were both jungles, correct? Ye ñep jungles ngeen won. Wow. Yes. You were both members of the patrol same patrol team. Ye ñep yeen ngi bokka ci ñi ño wax patrol team. Wow. Yes. In spite of your differences, you used to do things together. Ak uute bi ngeen am yeb da ngeen daan defandor ay mbir. Wa wa Ismail mo dafa tel ak gena ci team bi. Yes, but Ismail left the team early during the execution of these seven individuals who were taken from mile 2, he was still a member of the team, correct? Jamano bi ñoo ray juroom ñaar ñi nga xamne dañ leen jëlé won mile 2. Jamano bo ben mu ngi bokkon ci team bi. Wow. Yes. And that was not the one and only operation in which the two of you participated. Te bobu du won ben rek bo xamne ay operation la yo xamne yeen ñaar bokka ngeen nek ci. Mama Islam Ismaila Jamme suma fatale ko ci bobu rek lañ mo satassé. If I can recall that was the only operation that we met I met with Ismaila Jamme. Uh, the torture of the victims at NIA wasn't he there? Metital bin defo ñin jappum fofu ca NIA nek fu fa won amu fa won yes he was there was that not an operation in which both of you participated ndax lolu nek ne yeen ñaar ñepp ci bokkon de man comme like a uh, incident bu deme ni ci ala bi la wax no i'm talking about incidents such as si this lolu. one in the bushes ci si lolu nonu uh, on that uh, one yep ci benam mission bi la won rek bam aga ci ala bi it was the same mission that continued up to the bushes ba jamono bu rek la boka mom operation and that was the only time that i joined an operation with him it was all surrounding the alleged ndur cham coup d'etat wasn't it so yep mo ngi aju ci mberi eh coup d'etat bo nga xamne mom lañ tumalo ndur cham wow yes So you participated extensively with him during that operation. Bon bon bokon nga bu baax ak mom ci mbir mom nonu. Mom waaw bari ñun ñofa nekkon ci team bi. Yes, we were there in the team. You you did not have any problem with him, did you? Amulo wana mom ben jafé jafé de ndax Ismaila dede fogu mané. Ismaila no. Amé tam fogu mako de. I don't think and if there was any I I, I don't think I don't and you know that both of you both you and him participated in this operation in the forest eh yo xam nga ne yo ya mom yeb bokkon ngeen ci operation bi nga xam ne mo amon ci alla ba wow yes and and both of you were arrested and locked up in the same cell 
Mom, just answer the question. Did you share a cell with him? Yes. Lastly, When I was arrested, it was in the last couple of months that we uh, joined the same cell. And both of you are accused of being involved in this same incident. Wow. Yes. You know that he is also accused of being involved in this incident. Wow. Yes. He also knows that you have been accused of being involved in this incident. Wow. Yes. Yet the two of you never discussed it? No. Isn't that strange? Because the cell, we were not the only two in the cell. But you guys shared something a lot in common. At least you have this accusation surrounding both of you. You did not exchange notes. Why not? The family and the Nurule I'm Birishi Bari, Benefasoni Tuma B and Yarachi Boka. The Bente Mulena which you want a halat. No, come on, Luma de Watana Mom, see if it should be Bari. Because what I used to discuss with him on this issue is not is limited. So you discussed it at the beginning and Koya Lumneu. No, Dunja Watane come like Munu. No, we never discuss up to that distance. You problem, right? Because every time you 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 as to your involvement in this particular issue. Uh, but remember, remember uh, that uh, you have extensively spoken about this and there is still a lot more evidence yet to come. If the commission believes that you are lying, the commission would take its own decisions. But now you have the opportunity to speak the truth. Did you go to where the executions took place? I don't know. How far away did you stay? How far away did you stay from the, ex from the executioners? I cannot tell the distance because it was dark. I, cannot, I could not tell where they went to and how they were there. I can only talk about where I was. Did you decide to stand aside at the point of execution? No, I did not stand aside. I was where I was inside the room. Whether they went far or otherwise, I cannot say much about it. So Malik Jata lied when he said you decided to stand aside together with him and Nyabal. If, if the vehicles. Malik said, you stepped aside from the point of execution. Malik said, you stepped aside from the point of execution. No, if Malik said that, uh, that is the truth. That did not exist. Yes, Malik said that. Did you think that Malik is telling the truth? Yes, Malik said that. Did you think that Do you think that Malik would lie just to exonerate you? Why would he have to lie to exonerate you? Why wouldn't he just speak the truth to exonerate you? Malik, what do you think about what you have to do with your children? What do you think about what you have to do with your children? If the truth is actually that you did not go to the place of execution. If the truth is that you did not go to the place of execution.
And that is the truth. I did but, not go there. But answer the question. Why do you think Malik would lie to exonerate you when the truth is sufficient? What is Malik defend for Genela? I think that the truth is not going And Malik Jata mom Moham Lutah Mouah Lulu. Malik Jata knows why he said what he, he said. Hey, but uh, since I came and sat here, I came here to tell you all that I, I know. Uh, but uh, also in my attempt to tell you the whole truth, Malik Jata mo en malo hamne mon lulu. Why Malik will uh, uh, impose something on me, which? Which I know nothing about. I only stopped where I was. Okay. Let 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 end it there. You deny having participated or being present in the actual location of execution. Correct? Yes, sir. But nonetheless, you accept that you contributed in this execution. Why better in Nangungani? Yes, because we escorted them, knowing fully well that these people were going to be executed. Wow. Yes. Uh, so let's move on to the last point. Uh, and Mr. Chair, we uh, crave your indulgence to allow us some five, ten minutes to finish this particular point before we discharge the witness. Um, you told this commission that uh, there was an operation taking prisoners from uh, or detainees from the prisons to NIA. Can you tell us quickly what was the role of the patrol team in that operation? patrol team the patrol team when they got the information tumbul si bopam tumbul himself ak musa jamme and musa jamme ñom ñoo joge state house they left from the state house adam joined panel bi they went and joined the panel yenen officers and other officers some of whom i cannot recall their names so ñom biñ deme fofu sen liggey moy when they got there their duty was to make sure to make sure that investigation panel bi the investigation panel ay def ko ñom nuñ bugge they carried it out as they wished so biñ deme nia so when they got to the nia patrol team bi ak nia neka fofu the patrol team and the NIA were there. They were working side by side. They were working side by side. And other soldiers. Can you tell us what that involved? What do you mean by they were working side by side? Who was responsible for what? Investigation Mungfa. Investigation panel Mungfa. There was an investigation panel. And there is an arresting team. There was also an arresting team. And there is a team that is responsible for torturing. And there was a team responsible for? I'm not team, but I'm not responsible for the torture. There was a team responsible for torturing. And the arresting team and the torturing team, were they not one and the same? Nah, you don't arrest and you don't do the mutual. Neku ne nyom 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 boka bena team. Wow, fi am na lufa hawa are ute tuti. Well, here there is a slight difference. Am na nyom hamne sunila na arrest. There are those that when they were being arrested, patrol team be ragnyo idem. It was only the patrol team that will go. Am na nyom hamne sunila na arrest. There were those that when they were being arrested, NIA nyo idem. It was the NIA that would go. Am na nyom hamne sunila na arrest them. There were others yet who were being arrested. NIA ak soldari mun na nyom join nyo idem. The NIA and the soldiers will combine the and question, join. The question, the question you are asked is the arresting team and the torturing team. We are basically one and the same team. Nila lach moi. Ninga ham ne nyo de dem de arrest. Ak ninga ham ne nyo de door de mitital. Na nyo nye bena team belen. Wa ye bena team la. Yes, it's one team. You participated in the arresting of 
certain individuals, correct? No, no. I did not arrest anyone. Why? Don't tell me you mail to them easy. But we collected people from mile two and brought them. And those people were also tortured at mile two. No, no, no. Tell me, don't you don't meet it at mile two? They did not go mile two. NIA. No, not at the mile two, but at the. I beg your pardon. I meant NIA. By NIA. They were tortured at NIA. Ah, they were tortured. And they were tortured by your team, correct? They were sent to meet them. No, they don't meet it at no, no. Could you answer in in Wolof? Wow. Yes. Your team tortured certain detainees, correct? Certain detainees. Wow. 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 Certain Anyway, man, muna tu mafa tele kunyep na. Well, I cannot recall all of them. What dega ne hiyala? To be frank with you, muna mafa tele kunyep. I cannot recall all. So tell us the number of torture sessions in which you participated. Sunyesi yefi torture. Wow. Mane sunyesi yefi torture. When it comes to the torture, yunda yunda wa kuga isola. They used to tell us whom they needed. They knew they were putting you isiko. That we sh should collect the individual. Sunko isi. And after we bring in the individual, you they knew they were putting you them doggy banta. They will normally tell us to go out and fetch some sticks. So no lend they them. And so that was how we used to go. Sun they may knew what to within our NIA premises. We will go around and uh, look around the NIA premises. Luin amra lo hamne muna do. Whatever we could pick up, anything that could be used as uh, beaten material. We usually bring it along. And we give it to them. But just as I told you, always, myself and Nyabale, because we are junior men, because we were junior men, I think they consider the British, uh, the British, uh, the British, the British, the British, the British, the and uh, we were youngsters amongst them. So then you were genius, genius, amongst them. We were the, the most uh, genius there. So then you were one So they used to tell us that uh, let us not beat. So we will just go fetch sticks for them, give it to them, and then Mr. they will Mr. you really yes, want us to believe that? Mr. Jen, you, you seriously, you seriously want the commission to believe that because you are genius, you are spared from responsibility of beating, of torturing, and it's only the seniors who would torture. You we want us to believe that. Wow. Wow. Yes. 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 Mm. knowing that it would be used to torture a particular individual yeah. and those who carried out the torture, the torture. are all responsible for all torture. Responsible. Wow. So you're telling us that yes. you never yes. beat anybody at mile two? At mile two. Mile two NIA. NIA. At NIA. You are under oath. Yes, I'm under oath. And most more door can fall. I have never beaten anyone there. Why you don't know what you saw and you didn't see what? But usually they will tell us who was needed and we will pick the person. So, and that was the the manner in which you operated. Correct. No, no, no. I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you. Let me break it down. Let me break it down. Whenever somebody was to be tortured. You would be informed to go and bring the person, correct? Wow. 
Yes, but it was not all. Your role, wow. your role, amongst other things, was to go and bring the person to be tortured. You linga ham ne moy on sechir chimiri aki yen endal moy nga dem jeli nitki indiko nyudorko. Wow. Yes. And you knew that whenever you were asked to go and bring somebody, that person was to be tortured. The ham on nga ne sa yun la wahe ne demal jeli nit indiko borom dengko wara nyudor. Wow. Yes. And you would duly oblige, you would go and bring the person, correct? Wow. Yes. And you brought not one, not two, not three, four or five people. Would you say up to five people at least? It could even be more than five. And you knew that all these more than five people would be tortured? Yes, I knew that. You would also go and fetch the tools with which, or the instruments with which they would be tortured? Wow. Yes. And while there, you see them being tortured? Yes, I used to hear the screams. So you and the physical actual torturers are all one and the same in this operation. You and the physical actual torturers are all one and the same in this operation. All of us participated because if we did not carry out our part, they would not be able to do theirs. You know a person called Imam Babali? Imam Babali. Imam Babali, I'm not going. Yes, Imam Babali, I know him. You were aware of his arrest and detention at the NIA? Yes, I was aware of that. No, I wasn't aware of that. Did you know Imam Babali? I was not aware of that. Imam Babali, I'm not going. You did not participate in the torture of the imams? I was not aware of that. 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 I was not for, as for the soldiers, the only one I can uh, recall was Farin Sanya. You participated in his torture? Yes. Answer the question. Don't tell me about the journey from where he was taken. Did you participate in his torture? Yes, I participated because I bring him. The question is, did you physically participate in his torture? No, I did not beat him. Did you fetch the sticks? Wow. Yes. Wow. Yes. In your statement, you never mentioned that, did you? In what statement? Your statement to the investigators. Yes, I think I wrote that. If I... If I'm not forgotten. You did not indicate fetching anything for the torture of Farin Maybe my mind skipped it. Apart from Farin Sanyang, who else can you talk about? Apart from Farin... I'm going to buy that time... At that time... Officers, you bury how many? I did not know. Do, many do you know a person called General Savage? I'm going to General Savage. General Savage, I'm not going. I know General Savage. Did you participate in his torture? Bokon gachi door bin kodon door. Muna amde wai man muna ma fate lo kulona. It could be, but I cannot recall. But it could be. I muna ma fate lo. But I cannot recall. I fate lo kuna ne mom na mugi one fufusi NIA. But I could can recall that at that time he was at the NIA. Can you recall that he was tortured? Na fate lo kuna ne mom doron nengo. Wa doron nengo. Yes. But the only thing you cannot recall is your involvement. Wa ilinga muna fate lo kudal mo na eyo bokon gachi. Wa isi savage savage mum lalu mo kude. But as for savage, I did not touch him. So tell us who you touched. Dege wa nyo yau kan galal. No, on the side of beatings, I did not participate. Our role was to the bringing in and the taking back and the fetching of sticks. So who was doing the beating? I think it was the rest of the team that was Give us there. names. Malik Jata was there. Was he beating? 
place I don't know whether he beat or he did not beat, but, but all of them were in the same place. It was in a room. So when that when an individual is brought in, they would put, put the Were person. there any beatings outdoors or outside? outside. I cannot recall any beatings outside. Uh, I have your statement here. Uh, it's already exhibited, Mr. Chair. And I can confirm that there is no mention of the torture of Farin Sanya. Look at paragraph 7 and 8. There is nothing suggesting that firing was tortured. There is nothing suggesting that firing was tortured at the NIA. Uh, Mr. Chair, it's just being brought to my attention that it's only his cautionary statement that was exhibited. Uh, perhaps uh, we would also exhibit the statement to the TRRC. Um, uh, I'll get the witness to first confirm the statement. Uh, this should be exhibit 0070. Look at the document in your possession. Paragraph 7, the tax of the team was Council, I believe from uh, that's uh, a statement that he has signed. Yes. yes. Uh, the, what was exhibited was, I think, his cautionary statement. So I now want to exhibit his statement to the TRRC. Um, and uh, that should be his signed statement. Sorry, sir. Just a minute. Just right. a minute. Yeah, just yes, a minute. go ahead. I want to use the loo and so come I back. A lot of time to do. All right. I Can you do it a bit quickly? Yes. Uh, yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. That's not torture.
Mr. Jeng, you have a copy of your statement, don't you? Which statement? This present one? Uh, yes, your statement to the TRRC. Wow. Yes. And take a look at paragraph 7. That is page 5, right? Uh, page 5, paragraph 7. And uh, there you would accept that you are talking about the arrest of Faring Sanya. Wow. Wow. And uh, you recall that, uh, okay, paragraph 7 ends with the following. Uh, I have already settled scores with him and I have nothing against him. When this information reached the late Tumbul Tamba about what I had said about firing, mm -hmm. he was very angry with me and ordered me to stay away from work until such time I am needed. I will be called upon. And then the next paragraph. A day or two, I was called again, but can't recall who exactly called or came to pick me up at my residence to the NIA quarters where we met the late Tumbul Tamba Sanya Manjang and others. And then the issue of Manlafikor, Daba Marena and others took place. Okay. So there is no mention in your statement of torture at, at NIA, no mention of torture of firing, no mention of torture of savage. When it comes to firing, after he was tortured by the boys, I was the one that they called to go and bring him out from there. Your statement conveniently skipped that. No. Uh, Mr. Chair, we ask to exhibit the statement of the witness. Uh, it should be Exhibit 70. And uh, the cautionary statement of the witness has already been exhibited. So we ask that the statement of the witness be exhibited. Uh, the Chair does not wish to see the statement. And no, we don't need to see it. Um, uh, we can just approve the request. Yes. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. And uh, we have to try to uh, finish to finish this. So, uh, Mr. Witness, you accept in your testimony that you have participated in bringing more than five individuals to be tortured by members of the patrol team or the junglers. Wow. Yes. You participated in fetching the instruments that were needed to torture these individuals. Wow. Yes. 
essentially you are confessing to participating in torture correct on mo ngi melne ya ngi degal ne yo bokka nga ci mititaal yoyu ak door yoyu wow yes what do you know about prisoners who were sentenced to death who were taken from mile 2 and executed in a similar manner with those who were also with the, those soldiers who were also taken from mile 2 and executed by your team lan nga meuna wax nak ci ñi nga xamne ño di prisina yi nga xamne dañ leen tejoon ne dañ leen wara rey ci ño xamne yobbu nañ leen rey leen ci anam yi nga xamne dafa nuro ak anam yi nga xamne mom ngeen reye won ñele waaw suñ suñ ñëwé ci yefi prisina ci ñu on the issue of the those prisoners man lolu fekka na man nekatuma ci team bi at time i had left the team I'm bo mangi won ci vice president as a orderly at that time i was at the vice president's office when did you when did you move to the vice president as an orderly kan nga taxu ci vice president nek fa orderly lo 2011 la that was in 2011 we would verify that fact wa sum faté wut ci wéri mi if i have not forgotten it was in the month of may this event occurred in 2012 li mom mu ngi hewon 2012 So we would verify when you move to the vice president as an orderly. Legi nak dinañ ko gess pour set kañ nga toxu won ci vice president nek fa orderly. But for your information you have been mentioned by Lamin Baji. Wa na pour xamal la ne dey Lamin Baji dey tudana la. As somebody who participated in this incident. Ne bokkon nga ci xew xew bobu. Nga balal ma please pardon me. fa am luma bugal leral fi there is one thing i want to make clear ne ko ne may jelu wax bi diko worale not that i am taking this talk and going around and round paski degluna oya testimony bi because i have listened to oya's testimony oya lu wax fofu what oya said mu ne he said that mom dañ ko call mu nuñ ko am but they called him but they could not reach him man lañ call pour man ma joko telephone I was the one that was called so I could hand over the telephone to him. Lolu munna am parce que légué le suñ ko colle mu nuñ ko am dañ ma def call ma joko téléphone. That could be because sometimes they will call him and when they cannot reach him they will call me so I I'll pass na, over the telephone to him. Ma ma deglu wa tam Lambaji statement am. I also listen to Lambaji statement. Mom mu ne and he said dañ ko wax ne ko that they told him that Mustafa mu ne ko Mustafa said to him that, that, that he should go mu ne ko jeng mu ngi amé ray la. that jeng uh, has a rider man time bobu 2012 bi ngena wax ni at that time in 2012 man ave mo won rider i was not with a rider man suma rider bi my rider buñ mo joxon office of the vice president that they gave me at the nine months la am ci man at the office of the vice president for na ci bir a pso bi was with me for nine months i think it was during the case of the pso mo ne ka ci jurin are impasse mo non prepare pour dem dafo balagn ma arrest it was i think during the impasse while i was preparing the language request before i was arrested by from the office of the vice president it was when this motorbike was requested from the office of the vice president the motorbike buñ mako jox dañ ma joxale ak laisinam and this motorbike when they were giving it to me they gave it to me with its license lambaji fu mo wax nonu mune man na ma jeur rider mune mustafa daf ko wa lambaji confirm mune mustafa daf ko wone man ma ngi amé rider na topo gay ndax lambaji confirmed that mustafa said to him that i had a rider tambik na sen ñuy dama moto yow nga jeur rider nga topo len does it make sense that while the others were going with a vehicle do you deny participating in that incident do you how much dara wax dega neex yalla i know nothing about it Okay uh, let's let's wrap it up there. Uh you participated in the execution of Dauda Nyasi. Bokka nga ci rey Dauda Nyasi. Wow. Yes. You participated in the execution of Deida Haidara. Bokka nga ci rey Deida Haidara. Wow. Yes. You participated in the execution of Haruna Jammi. Bokka nga ci rey Haruna Jammi. Wow. Yes. you participated in the execution of the ghanians about at least 30 west african migrants bokka ci fan wer yi ñu nga xamne ño baye ko west africa wow yes uh, you participated in the execution of manlafi kor and six others bokka nga ci rey manlafi kor ak yenen jurom ben wow yes in essence you have participated 
in the killing of at least 40 people. Wow. Yes. You also participated in at least five incidents of torture. Wow. Yes. What else did you participate in? Your last chance. After I left the patrol team, Madam C. Vice President, former Vice President. And went to the former Vice President. Man team be bullet in I was not part of the team. Thank you very much, Mr. Witness. I have no further questions. Thank you very much, Emma Council, and thank you, Mr. Jang, for your testimony, which at times has been rather convoluted. The council did its best to try to take us through the maze, uh, so we have a bit of understanding of what really happened. Council, what I was going to do, you just did a summary of that one. I was going to take him through uh, some compartmentalization of abuses and violations of human rights. If you don't mind, I'll repeat it a little bit. There will be a bit of an overlap. I didn't want to wait until, um, oh, sorry, <laughs> interpreters my. Apologies. <coughs> um, I didn't want to cancel. We, we'll, we'll just go, go on. But uh, the boxes I want to construct. I will ask my the witness to help me with filling those boxes. They would overlap a little bit with yours, but at least it's a summary form that would help me and hopefully the rest of the commission as well. Mr. Jeng, I want to have four boxes that are constructed. I'll tell you the boxes, but before telling you what each box should contain, if you can just tell me the number of years you spent uh, with uh, the patrol and the junglers. Mr. Jeng, I can tell you that there are many people who have been here for a long time. But this is what we can do. We can do it for a long time. 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 I came to the patrol team in 2004. 2009. I was there up to 2009. Wow. I began to 2009-2010. But between 2009 and 2010, But my work with them was not constant. Because... They used to say to me that, uh, prepare, we are going out on assignment. When I prepare and sit in my room, I usually would sit there until I fall asleep. And when I wake up the following day, and call them to ask, they will tell me that there was no fuel. And I, I thought that perhaps this was a, a strategy to get me out of the group. Except one thing. Uh, during uh, the occasion of the 22nd of July celebrations, celebration, they used to take us to the Bond Road. And even at that, uh, the way it's usually they will go, go around, conduct so their patrols until they are done, room. and then when they are done, they will come to my house, pick me, and then we will go and uh, man the bond road, because, because where I live no. and uh, bond road is not far away. The same thing happens during the feast of the I just, I just need to know the number of years, wow. patrol team plus junglers, yeah. and uh, what you said sounds like if... Um, Five plus two, is that correct? Seven years. Seven years.
Yes. Fine. If that is correct, the four boxes I want to fill now with you, box one would be, I would have the names of individuals that you personally killed, either uh, uh, with a gun or with a plastic bag under strangulation. Box two. And that's where there would be a little bit of overlap with Council Summer last time, points that he mentioned. Box two would uh, contain names of individuals on whose killing you participated. Pardon me if you could uh, speak a little bit louder so I could hear you. Nyarele kes bi moy. Turi ay nit ño xamne bokka nañ ci ay ño reey bo xamne yow sen reey yow bokka nga ci. Box 3 would contain names of persons um, or individuals in whose am killing you were present. Yenen benen ñetteli kes bi moy. Turi nit ñi nga xamne yow teew nga ci jamono ji len don ray. And box four would be individuals some you personally tortured. Nyenen tele kes bi moy turi nit ñi nga xamne yow bokka nga ci ñi nga xamne ñoo len don door di len mitital. We can do this here quickly. Box one. How many people individuals that you personally killed either shooting them or uh, strangulation or any other form of um, execution? These are the individuals that I don't recall, except if you can uh, help me to recollect. So you killed only three people, the seven years that you were with the patrol team and the junglers. No, we'll come to that. That's a group of 30. These are the only three I don't recall. Fine. Then the Ghanaians or the West African nationals? Would they be in box one or in box two? Did you personally kill any of those West Africans? No. They would, they would no. be in box two then. I only escorted them. Wow. We'll come to that. Box two, 30 plus how many? Box 2 is participated in killing. Wow. Yes. 30 plus. I don't know how many. No, give us the names of the individuals that you participated in the killing. Individuals. I do not understand the question you are asking. Uh, uh, Mr. Chair, perhaps maybe, Council, Council, please. Yeah, maybe he does not understand the question, but I would imagine uh, that Man uh, Kor and uh, seven and six others would also fall in this box because he also escorted those people knowing fully well that they would be executed, and indeed they were executed. With that assistance, can you go on? Uh, there is no interpretation. I think we have too many microphones on at the same time. Uh, so, yes, Mr. Jen, could you turn off your microphone? Okay, yes, thank you. So, I think that he did not understand the question. Uh, in the second box, maybe the execution of 
Man Lafikor, Abba Marena, and five others would also fall in this category. Because just like the uh, group of the Ghanaians, he also participated in escorting these people, knowing fully well that they were going to be executed. Uh, perhaps he should answer whether this seven would fall also within that category. Thank you, Council. I did understand your own um, summary of it, which was very good. I wanted them to hear from him directly, uh, the um, uh, names and the numbers as well, for him to be um, uh, personally responsible in that. Uh, Still now, I am able to, to catch up uh, the whole issue because he talked about four boxes. What I want now is for him to start from the first box and then move on one after the other so I could understand. I understand him a little bit, but it's somehow confusing for me. Box one? Well, box one, oh sorry, box one, what I had indicated was um, the one that would contain the names of individuals you personally killed. Box one, case bunje kabi moi, lima chela ache moi, turi niti nye benna benni niti nyinga hamne yo uchisa bopa, boka nga chi nyinga hamne nyole nrai, century. Adawda nyasi? Yes. Era hai dara? Yep. Ak, inaka... So you personally killed only three during the seven years? Wow. Yes. In box two, you participated in the killing of individuals. No. Wow, wow. So, so, the Ghanaians. The Ghanaians. The Ghanaians. The case of Daba Marena. And the case of Daba Marena and others. Daba Marena. Now you are clear. I think that's, that's, that's it. That's the whole of it. The Deba Marina group, can you just go over it again? I come. Mawa Centuri. You want me to say their names? Afu kom Muninko Wahe, Deba Marina. As they said, Deba Marina. Alfaba. Aliu Sisi. Ibulo, Allah fikor, wow, minyak lau muna fata loko ag jigen ni gaidi wah nyari jigen yoyu hama i naka. Yes, Masira, naka. These are the ones I can recall. Masira. Plus this, the other two women, Masire Jame, uh, Masire Jame. Akenenki. and the other one, Oko Homer Turambi. That one I do not know her name. Number seven. This seven or six? Seven. 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 Kenenki. The other one. Turambi la Muntati. I cannot you help me. I cannot recall her name. Remind me. You don't remember that the name would be of somebody Julia? you killed? No, I cannot remember the name. Extraordinary. Box three. Hmm. Names of individuals, a man who is killing you were present. You didn't participate 
like as in box two, you didn't, you didn't kill personally as in box one. Box three, you were present when they were being killed. Babu man fogo mane because lulu tamsuare am namu kore fawar sinyom kire nakala tuati nini naka nyom taba marena because babu I was there I was just part of the escort why the fumo fadara I think if uh, such a situation is to have existed I will refer it to the issue of uh, Dabe Marena because uh, when they were killed I was present I play umo faben part but I did not play any part. That was the only one. Uh, please pardon me. Box two. The second box. Bobo Gani and Serekla. So if you box three, Bila. Fane ka nyom ki nyom taba marena. Nga balalma fufu. Box two. Box two would only be the Ghanaians, and uh, taba marena and others would be box three. Pardon me. That was a mistake I made. Any other person in box three? Box four, the last one. Box four, the individuals are you tortured. Uh, if what my memory can give me now, I can say. But I I not torture him. But I, I picked him up and took him. Said those who you, whom you tortured personally. So there is no one in the box. I did not touch anyone personally. You didn't touch anybody. Didn't touch anybody. Thank you, Commissioner. Sir. If you have any questions, um, Commissioner Carr, you have the floor. Thank you, Chairman. I have one, just, just one question. Because you told us that you had the cries of detainees who were tortured at the NIA, um, but also in your testimony, you, you told us that you didn't hear. Uh, when Manlafi and others were assaulted, how is that believable? Uh, when it comes to that issue, okay, Balama, Mawasi Olof, Sunuesi Lulu. When it comes to that issue, just as I said to you earlier, uh, as soldiers, we operate under command. And that day, where I was asked to stand, if I told I was able to hear anything which I can say, I would have told you. But on that day, they did not want to leave their vehicles behind unattended. Which was why I was asked to stay behind and guard the vehicles. If I told they had asked me to go with them, then whatever took place there, I would have been in a position to 